Third and four for the Hoosiers. This is where they struggled a year ago. Roberson over the middle, and that's Bolzer. The tight end, fifth year, Ted Bolzer out of Cincinnati, Ohio with the catch. That's his 10th career touchdown reception for Ted Bolzer. And goal to goal for Indiana State as Parrish drops back, looks over the middle, and it's complete, and another penalty flag. But the catch is made, and that's Samson Levingston, a freshman out of Indianapolis and Cathedral High School that makes the catch. I think this one's going to stand. Pass interference. Defense, number nine. A penalty's declined. Result of the play. Touchdown. Counts, and, and you're right, Chris, and it's very unique that way, especially when you're trying to get to a bowl game. There you go. Shane Wynn for the home run. When we talked yesterday with Kevin Wilson, they want to run the ball, Chris, and then heavy play action off of that. That's going to be a big emphasis for, again, for them this year. Shakir Bell is the lone setback behind Mike Parrish, who has been battling redshirt freshman Robert Tanyan for the starting quarterback position. Bell loses the football, and it's on the ground, and Indiana has it. He's the defense that's called to see, give them the best play. Coleman gets the ball, has the first down, running room down the sideline, and Coleman from 34 yards will score for Indiana. Hoosiers in the red zone. They were really good last year in the red zone. And that's Sutfeld, the quarterback, into traffic. Bolzer again, building his way toward the end zone, and the signal is touchdown, Indiana. I love that guy, Chris. He, he, he really stood out in practice to me with his leadership and energy. Just a little, little pop pass right in the, the heart of the zone. Great effort. And got Good some, help. Yeah, got some help from his teammates. Second touchdown reception for Bolzer, who joined the team in January and was able to participate in spring practice, and he has worked his way into the two-deep chart for this Indiana team. Stangler is back to punt for Indiana State. And Win takes the punt and has some running room, gets to the outside. That's Shane Wynn, 20, 15, 10, and Wynn into the end zone for a touchdown. Score fast anyway, but you can't turn the ball over and give it to Indiana. Sutfeld looks over the top, and it is complete, and Nick Stoner makes the catch. Ball is spotted at the 16-yard line for Mitch Ewald. The holder is Eric Toth. 80% in school history, top in school history. He has missed just one field goal in his career from this distance, now 18 of 19. For the fifth year senior out of Naperville, Illinois. On third down, Parrish to the end zone, and the catch is made. And that's Keani Harris. Sorted out story there, Chris. But and, and we don't have enough time to talk about it, but I'll just tell you, for those of you watching, as the ball is picked up. Here we go. And it's LeRae Smith, and the ball is loose and picked up by Indiana State for a touchdown. End of the first half with those two quick scores. And now a third down situation, Sudfeld and the Hoosiers, and it's picked off. And that will be a touchdown. Connor Underwood and the Sycamores have now put three straight touchdowns on the board. A turnover and the Sycamores, Chuck, we might have written them off. They're right back in. Win is in the slot, top of your screen. And Sudfeld over the middle, and that's an easy catch for Shane Wynn. Great play action fake by Sudfeld, Chris. Helmet came off, so he's got to come off for a play. He had back-to-back -back pass interference penalties in the first half that led to touchdown. Sudfeld looks to the corner of the end zone. Penalty flags. And the catch is made. It's Kofi Hughes. Get your senior out of Cincinnati. Tevin Coleman is back in. And that's Coleman into the end zone for another score. A 20-yard run.
And we welcome you to Bloomington and a touchdown score, Andrew Wilson. Don't force things. Make good decisions here. Now goes deep and a receiver is wide open and into the end zone. Indiana State will have the long touchdown and Demery Lawshay.